leading like Jesus. You see, Jesus is the best example that you and I should emulate in matters leadership. Whether it be private leadership, leading yourself, whether it be public leadership, leading other people, whether in the political arena, whether in public service, private sector, whatever sector you find yourself. If you are a leader, and we all are leaders because we exercise influence of some sort, we should seek to emulate the example of Jesus, leading like Jesus. Now, there are many attributes that could define, underpin the leadership of Jesus. I want to focus on just one today, which is compassion. Compassion. If you ever aspire to be like Jesus, then you must be a compassionate leader. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 9, verse 36, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Matthew 9, verse 36. When Jesus saw the crowds, he saw them for their condition, harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. It is interesting to note that some politicians, when, see, when they see crowds, they see votes. Some pastors when, who see crowds see tithes. But when Jesus saw the crowds, he saw them for who they were. You see, Jesus saw individuals for their need. Whether it was Zacchaeus, whether it was uh, the Samaritan woman, or the woman caught in adultery, the lepers, or the blind Bartimaeus, he saw them for their need. And this is the example that I invite us who seek, to, who aspire for office to be men and women of compassion. You see, Jesus was moved by compassion in his, in his leadership and in his ministry. He not only implored the disciples to pray, but he demonstrated compassion. You see, compassion is a doing word. When he saw the crowds, he told the disciples, pray to the Lord of the harvest that he may send workers. Then he went further than just prayer. He did something about the situation. He touched them. He healed those that were sick. He was moved by compassion. I had a story of a man who fell into a pit and couldn't help himself out. A subjective person came along and said, I feel you down there. An objective person walked by and said, it's logical that someone would fall down there. A Pharisee came and said, only bad people fall into pits. A mathematician came around and he calculated how this man fell into this pit. A news reporter stopped by and wanted an exclusive story on the pit. A tax collector came by and asked if this man was paying his taxes inside the pit. A self-pitying person said, you haven't seen anything until you've seen my pit. A Christian scientist observed and said, the pit is just in your mind. A psychologist noted, your mother and father are to blame for your being in the pit. A self-esteem therapist stopped by and said, believe in yourself and you can get out of the pit. An optimist came by and said, things could have been worse. Then a pessimist stopped by and said, things will get worse. But then came a man called Jesus. Seeing the man in the pit, took him by the hand and lifted him out. That is a story of compassion. So for you who aspire to be leaders, let's follow the example of Jesus. Let's demonstrate compassion by lifting people from the many pits they've fallen into. The Lord bless you richly. My name is Patrick Cuchillo from Sitam Church Online. God bless you.